Chapter Four. Welcome back, dear Oliver. Fagin said mockingly. Thank you for bringing him home again, Nancy. He added to the young woman who had kidnapped Oliver. Nancy was about twenty and very pretty. Like the artful Dodger, she had been one of Fagin's pupils. She was very good at lying and deceiving people. Oliver knew he was in trouble, but spoke up bravely. Please let me return these books. I owe this to Mister Brownlow. He took me in and fed me, and was so good to me. Keep me here with you forever, but let me take them back. He will think I have stolen them. No, it took a lot of effort to find you and bring you back, and I shall keep the books as payment. Fagin said. Before Oliver could reply, there was a call of "Plummy and Slam." Open the door, Nancy dear," Fagin said. "And Oliver, you sit in the corner and don't make any trouble, or Bill Sykes will deal with you." <laughs> He laughed nastily, pointing at the door. Bill Sykes was thirty-five, a big, strong man. His trousers were muddy. And he wore a dirty handkerchief around his neck. A white dog, with his face scratched and torn in twenty places, was following him. Hurry up! Sykes said to the dog, and gave him a kick. <laughs> Good day, Bill dear," said Fagin in a friendly tone to this unpleasant man. Very cold day, isn't it? Yes," said Sykes unpleasantly. "As cold as your heart." Hush now, Mister Sykes," Fagin said gently. Mister Sykes was in a very bad temper. He was a professional burglar who often worked with Fagin, so they began to discuss a house burglary that Sykes had been planning. "There's a big problem," said Sykes. "We've got nobody to help us from the inside. The servants are all very loyal to their mistress. That is unfortunate." Said Fagin, but isn't there another way to break in? Remember, the precious gold plate is in there. There is a way, Sykes said, but I will need a boy. A small boy will be able to crawl through a window and unlock the door for us. That is no problem at all, dear, Fagin said, looking at Oliver. I have the perfect boy for the job. Oliver realized that Fagin meant him. Terrified, he jumped up and ran to the door, banging on it and screaming for help. Bill Sykes' dog got to his feet, growling. Keep the dog back, Bill! Nancy said suddenly, taking Bill Sykes' arm. He'll tear the boy to pieces. That would serve him right. Sykes shouted, "Let go of my arm, or you'll be very sorry." Nancy usually obeyed Sykes, but not now. With Oliver, she felt something she had not felt for a long time—pity for someone who was weak. She shouted at Sykes, "No, you'll have to kill me first!" Fagin and the Dodger dragged Oliver back to his chair. "So you thought you would get away, didn't you?" Fagin said to him, picking up a club. Nancy let go of Sykes and grabbed the club. No, I brought the boy here, but I won't let you hurt him. She cried. You'll make him a thief and a liar, just like you made me. Isn't that bad enough? And saying this, Nancy burst into tears. Oh! <laughs> Sykes seized Nancy roughly, and she fainted. Now Oliver didn't have any chance to escape. They kept him locked in the house. He kept thinking of Mister Brownlow. If only he could find him again.